At this moment, look within yourself and remember that, just as the Word teaches us that, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You are safe, protected, and strengthened by the unwavering power of the Creator. Do not fear the challenges that arise on your path, because as it is written, the Lord is your refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Rise with courage, knowing that, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us, and that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Remember, you are a child of the God who created the heavens and the earth, and in all things, He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think. Let this truth resonate in your heart, inspiring every step you take, knowing that the Lord will keep you from all harm, He will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Today, you are called to live a life of victory, confidence, and peace, because greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. Dear friend, I now want to invite you to join me in a moment of prayer, where together we will seek the strength and peace that only God can grant us. Before we enter into prayer, if you feel blessed by this content, I invite you to leave your like and subscribe to the channel so that together we can reach even more hearts. Heavenly Father, we approach you at this moment, seeking your shelter, your refuge, and your protection. As your word says, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, we take refuge under the shadow of your wings, trusting in you with all our hearts. You are our refuge, our fortress, our God in whom we trust. It is in you that we find security amid life's storms. How comforting it is to know that when we walk in your presence, we can rest assured that you are our protector, our shield, our defender. Father. You deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. You cover us with your feathers, and under your wings we find refuge. Your truth is our shield and buckler. We will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it will not come near us. Oh, how powerful is this psalm, Lord, that reminds us that when we dwell in your secret place, we are protected from all harm. You are our faithful guardian who protects and delivers us from all the enemy's traps. Father, we thank you because you have commanded your angels to guard us in all our ways. They will bear us up in their hands so that we do not strike our foot against a stone. Lord, it is wonderful to know that we are not alone, that your angels encamp around us, protecting us from all evil. You give us authority to tread on the lion and the cobra, and to trample the young lion and the serpent. In you, Lord, we are more than conquerors. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment, you shall condemn. This is our heritage as servants of the Lord, and our righteousness is from you. Lord, you promised that because we love you and know your name, you will deliver us. When we call upon you, you will answer, you will be with us in trouble. You will deliver us and honor us. You will satisfy us with long life and show us your salvation. Father, what a wonderful promise. Knowing that your protection is upon us, that your deliverance is certain, that your salvation is guaranteed. In you, we find peace, security, and the assurance that nothing can separate us from your love. Thank you, Lord, for these promises of life, protection, and salvation. Thank you for being our refuge our fortress, our God in whom we trust. Father, as your word says, the Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. What confidence we have in you, Lord, knowing that you are with us at all times, watching over our lives, protecting us from all evil. When we go out and when we come back, the Lord is by our side, guiding us, guarding us, protecting us. No matter where we are, we know that your presence is with us and that you are our faithful guardian who never abandons us. Lord, we also thank you because your word assures us that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Father, what a powerful promise. 
knowing that no attack from the enemy against us will succeed, that you defend us from all accusations, that our righteousness comes from you. Oh, how good it is to know that the Lord is our defense, that no one can accuse us before you, for you are our advocate, our defender, our shield. Lord, we thank you for your promises of protection, for guarding us from all evil, for being our refuge, our fortress, our strong tower. We trust in you, Lord, with all our hearts. We know that as long as we are sheltered in you, nothing can separate us from your love. Nothing can harm us, for you are our shield, our protection. Thank you, Lord, for being faithful to your promises, for protecting us at all times, for guarding us from all evil. Heavenly Father, at this moment, we lift our voices in intercession for all your sons and daughters who are facing difficulties, challenges, and trials. Lord, you know each heart, each need, each pain. We ask that you intervene powerfully in their lives, bringing healing, deliverance, and restoration. Lord, may your mighty hand be extended over those who are sick, bringing health and vigor to their bodies. May your blessings be poured out on those facing financial difficulties, opening doors of provision and abundance. May you restore broken relationships, bringing reconciliation and peace to families. Father, we know that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Lord, our battle is spiritual, and so we stand before you, asking that you break every curse, every spiritual oppression that has afflicted your people. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we break every chain, every stronghold of the enemy that has tried to imprison your children. We declare that in Christ we are free, and no force of evil shall prevail against us. Lord, as your word says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we use the spiritual weapons you have given us to tear down every stronghold of the enemy. We destroy every evil counsel, every pride that rises against the knowledge of God. We take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, declaring that you are Lord over all things. Lord, we cry out for spiritual deliverance for all those who are bound in chains of sin, addiction, and oppression. In the name of Jesus, we break every chain that has imprisoned your children and declare that they are free in Christ. Lord, may your light shine in the darkness. May your truth prevail over the enemy's lies. May your peace reign in hearts and may your righteousness be manifest in every area of their lives. Father, we trust that you are hearing our prayers and that you are acting powerfully on behalf of your people. Lord, at this moment we invoke your mighty names, recognizing that each one reveals an aspect of your nature and character. Father, you are Elohim, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. In the beginning, you created all things with the power of your word, and nothing exists that was not made by you. We acknowledge your sovereignty over every area of our lives, knowing that you have all power and authority to do the impossible. In you, we find our strength, our sustenance, our hope. Lord, you are Rapha, the God who heals. As you said in your word, I am the Lord who heals you. Father, we cry out for healing in every area of our lives. Heal our bodies from illness, heal our minds from anguish, heal our hearts from emotional wounds. Father, you are the physician of physicians, and there is no disease, pain, or suffering that you cannot heal. We trust in your promise that by the wounds of Christ we are healed. We declare health and healing over each of your children, Lord, believing that you are faithful to fulfill your promises. Lord, you are Jireh, the God who provides. Just as you provided a ram for Abraham on the mountain, you are our provider in times of need. Father, we cry out for your provision in our lives, knowing that you are the owner of all gold and silver. You know our needs even before we express them, and we trust that you will supply each one according to your riches and glory. Lord, bless your children with abundance, open the windows of heaven, and pour out blessings without measure. May there never be a lack of bread on our table, May we never lack what is necessary to live. We trust in you, Lord, as our faithful provider. Lord, you are Nissi, our banner.
Just as Moses built an altar and called the name of the Lord, the Lord is my banner. We acknowledge you as our standard in the midst of the battle. Father, you are our commander, the one who fights for us and gives us victory. When we are in spiritual warfare, we raise your name as our banner, declaring that the battle is the Lord's and that you have already given us the victory. Lord, we trust in you to guide us through the battles, to protect us from the enemy's attacks, and to lead us to victory in every area of our lives. Father, as your word says, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Lord, we declare that through Christ we are victorious over any adversity, any challenge, any difficulty. Nothing can separate us from your love, and in you we find the strength to overcome all things. No matter how great the challenge before us, we know that with the Lord by our side, we are already more than conquerors. Thank you, Lord, for the victory you have already granted us in Christ Jesus. Father, we also declare that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. Lord, your spirit dwells in us, and therefore we do not fear evil. No force of the enemy can prevail against us because your power in us is greater. Lord, may we live each day with this confidence, knowing that you are with us, that your power sustains us, that your spirit guides us. We trust in you, Lord, and declare your victory over every area of our lives. Lord, as your word says, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Father, we trust in your divine protection, knowing that your angels are around us, guarding us from all evil. We do not fear evil because we know that you are our protector, our shield, our fortress. Lord, we thank you for your constant protection, for guarding us in all our ways, for delivering us from the enemy's traps. We trust in you, Lord, and rest in the assurance that we are safe in your hands. Father, we also declare your protection over our families, over our homes. As Joshua said, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Lord, we place our families under your protection, trusting that you will watch over our coming and going from now and forevermore. Lord, may our homes be places of peace, of love, of safety, where your presence is felt at every moment. May no harm come near us. May no plague come near our tent. We trust in you, Lord, to protect our families, to guide us in all our ways, to bless us with your peace and your presence. Lord, we also ask for your blessing upon our lives, upon our families, upon our work, upon everything we do. Father, may you bless the work of our hands. May you prosper our ways. May you grant us wisdom to make the right decisions. Lord, may your blessings be poured out upon us in abundance. May we experience your goodness and faithfulness in every area of our lives. We trust in you, Lord, and thank you for your blessings, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill your promises. Lord, we praise you for your faithfulness, for your goodness, for your unconditional love. As your word says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Father, may our souls never forget all the blessings you have granted us, all the times you have delivered us, all the times you have sustained us. Lord, we praise you for who you are, for your love that never fails, for your mercy that is renewed every morning. Father, we also thank you for already answering our prayers. As your word says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Lord, even before we see the answers to our prayers, we thank you, trusting that you are working on our behalf. Lord, we thank you for the blessings we have already received and for the blessings that are yet to come. We thank you for your faithfulness, for your love, for your grace. May we live each day with a grateful heart, recognizing your goodness in all things. In Jesus' name, amen. As you conclude this prayer journey, remember that the Lord, in his infinite goodness and faithfulness, has already begun to work wonders in your life. Just as the word assures us that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus, know that every request, every supplication, is already in the hands of the God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. There is no challenge, mountain, or valley that can stand between you and the purpose God has for your life. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will do it. Now, go forth with the certainty that the Lord will bless you and keep you.
The Lord will make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord will turn his face toward you and give you peace. Remain firm, for he who is with you is greater than any adversity. And in Christ, the victory is already yours.